You can select kinetics, photometric, and spectrum. The most common used is spectrum. We select this and then click method. Then you need to set up your experiment by changing some parameters. For example, you need to set a wavelength range from which wavelengths to which wavelengths. Here we select 800 to 400. You can select scan speed or the sampling interval from 2 nanometer to 0 0.1 nanometer. And you can save your files to some fold. Sample preparation, you need to give some information about your sample. And in this instrument parameters, select which mode you want to use, transmitters, absorbance, or reflectance. You don't need to do so much in this attachment. You just click OK. But before you do an experiment, remember to connect the computer and the UVB's spectrometer by click. After that, you need to do a baseline scan to see if everything is okay or there was some error. You, you just wait until it stops. After that, click auto zero. If there was some error, auto zero will eliminate the error. So your experiment will be okay. After that, you just prepare your sample and put your sample inside the sample holder. Be prepared and then click start. A spectra will be shown as a scan goes. Yeah. You can do a second scan, of course. In this interface, there are three buttons, active, overlay, and stacked. In stacked mode, the scans will be shown separately. You can save your files in different format so that you can handle it with different method or different software. You can also select kinetics to show how the absorbance change during a time window. But this is usually for um, reactions or some uh, drug release or something else. You can select auto or manual control the experiment, select wavelengths, three mode, single wavelength, just the one parameter, so wavelength range from one to the other one on double wavelength mode. The other things is the same as um, spectrum method. And uh, you just click OK and be prepared for the scan. If you select the photometric, the setting will be a little bit complicated, but you just follow the steps and you will reach the end and do a experiment.
Let's go back to Spectrum. In these menus, under Operation, you can click Data Print. That will show the data that in the Spectrum. You can also select Peak, Peak. Yeah, it will show you the peaks that the software recognized. If you want to end the experiment, just click Exit. But before you do that, remember to disconnect the computer and the UVB spectrometer and then click Exit.